Oh. <laughs> and that was the timer for the prior game. And now it's starting over again! I have become Borb! When last we left off, uh, we played for nearly two hours unintentionally and solved the jack-in-the-box puzzles by just brute forcing it. And then we ended up getting murdered by Egliette because she cut off our hand. And before we quit out last time, I did... I did, um, open the door preemptively. So now we're gonna go through the mirror and hopefully not die. This dress feels somewhat nostalgic. Hmm. I feel like we'll need to get that letter, but I do not know. What's going on here? Okay, there's still the execution. Haven't we a deja vu? What's a deja vu? It's when stupid people ask ignorant questions. But. Well, fuck you too, Mr. Pumpkin. I still can't see my own reflection. Oh. It won't open. I need to find another way. Oh, so this is a, a door here. Okay. Let's go around. Let's talk to the pumpkins. I waited half my whole life for this moment. I wonder who will win. This is so thrilling. Oh. I guess if you go up far enough, she's like, we go this way now. Thank you all for attending this very special ceremony. You've all given me your best, but as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. All the others who don't make it will be executed. Executed? Who dares interrupt my ceremony? I... I'm just... Silence! Who are you? Where did you come from? What are you doing at my ceremony? I... I'm just looking for something. Oh. And what might that thing be? Um... I'm looking for... We're gonna fucking lie through our teeth because being honest last time cost us a limb. I see. That's unfortunate. Take a seat, my girl. I will let you look for whatever it is that you've lost after the ceremony. Thank you. Uh, we'll just sit here with this poofy pillow and hang out. No? Okay. I wish I could dance like them, but unfortunately, I'm just a pumpkin. Uh, just have someone swing around all do si -do. Now, I shall announce the winning couple. Which is... Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. Congratulations to the winners. You may step aside.
As for all of you failures, you shall be executed. She can't just murder everyone. Soldiers, march! Um, it looks like she very much well can. Wait! Farewell, my servants. You have served me well. Damn. Now that that's taken care of, it is time for tea. As for you, clean up this mess before leaving, will you? Or else... You may have this. Ballroom master key. Thanks, I guess. I'm expecting my ballroom to be squeaky clean by the time I'm back. I will not tolerate any mistakes. Or else. I have to help Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. Okay, buy a queen squeaky toy. The couple's bodies lie torn apart, their expressions forever frozen in the moments of terror felt before their executions. Rabbit limbs. Pitch black stuffing slowly oozes from the dancer's wounds, staining their once shiny fur. Fox arm. This is horrible. It's dirty work, but someone's got to do it. Besides that, we're going to be next on the da on the dance room floor if we don't. Exciting. Aren't you excited? I sure am excited. I've never been this excited in my entire life. Oh, I guess we're just gonna say the same thing regardless of like whether or not the execution's already gone through. It won't open. Uh, what about this key? Nope. Quack. Hey, mirror, welcome in. You're just in time for yet more pocket mirror. We'll wait a moment on that. I guess we can't actually go into these areas. Okay. Uh, back we go then. Hey Justice, welcome in! I hope you're doing well. Oh. Well, so much for going back. I have to help them. Well, let's see, we've got... Uh... One unit of body, one unit of arm. I think... Thank you for the shout out. You're welcome. And uh, I'm doing well. I feel a bit tired, but that's just because like I had one of my finals today and I'm still needing to finish like another final. And then I basically have like three finals to try to finish up in like three days. So that's going to be fun. One of them is going to be much easier to do though, because it's literally just like uh, a bowling team design. I just have to color it in, and that's it. 
The one unit of what? Hey, Raven, welcome in. Inspect two severed rabbit legs. Oh, so even though it's like we only picked up the one, it still counts as two. Can I get a lore recap? Um, lore recap is we were a we are a little girl that woke up in a dark dank place and we decided screw that noise we're gonna go explore and now we're in this castle uh after almost ending up as queen egliet's secret surprise deluxe dessert and uh we solved the puzzle with a bunch of jack in the boxes and now we have all the limbs for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fox. Well, Mr. Rabbit and Miss Fox, more accurately. It's very Alice in Wonderlandy. I mean, not that- I wouldn't clap for the dessert, Raven, considering it was people. And it's my Borb Yims! Have your body parts back. You're going through a lot of trouble for us, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit. I'll definitely save you both. Thank you, miss. Expensive dessert. Maybe I'll leave those here for a bit. And we'll save in a separate slot just in case. Humans are tasty snacks. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, we can use the ballroom master key here. Silky blue ribbon. Oh! No pumpkins allowed. Ed, what are you doing here, little friend? Shh! I'm hiding. Tall clock stands in the corner, tans running across its face as if in a hurry. <gasps> Pumpkin charm. I don't even know how to play chess. Just don't tell anyone. Everyone likes to party here. Isn't it nice? What a pretty little girl you are. Listen, do you happen to know how to sew? Um, yes I do. How did you know? Oh, don't be silly. Of course I didn't. Either way, you can have this. Oh, kick ass. Thank you, miss. Of all those... Oh, all these people are completely uneducated. Can you believe most of them don't know how to read? Pathetic. I mean... Dyslexia, you know. Reading's hard, yo. Tonight's dance party is going to be fabulous. I can't wait. This tea is quite delicious. Speaking of which, I wonder who Queen Egliette will choose. Aren't you excited? Yes, I am. How do we read? Uh, I, I don't know. Apparently the new reading meta is just guess the words as far as education goes. Good evening, miss. Have we possibly met before? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I see. That's a shame. Because I would totally call off your pumpkin. I'm sorry, mister, but I don't have any pumpkins with me right now. That's all right, miss. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Have a nice evening. Thank you, mister. You too. How dare. I cannot read. <laughs> oh, rabbits, you're so funny. Let's be together forever and ever. Let's see. A fancy cabinet made entirely of walnut wood. Ratchet looking tea sets rest inside, carefully arranged on the shelves. Charm.
What's reading? Gaining knowledge. I think that's all we needed in here. I'm at 1k points. Nice. Knowledge. We are smart. We are all smart in our own ways. Okay, first we'll do Mrs. Fox. Oh, okay. Never mind then. We'll do Mr. Rabbit first. I've gathered enough parts for you and Mrs. Fox. Hopefully we can fix you with ease. You've gone through so much trouble for both of us. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help you. Tell me, do you know how to sew? Yes, I do. Would you please sew us back together? I wish to be reunited with Mrs. Fox. Of course. Let me just find something to sew you with. A golden needle carrying crimson thread. I'll sew you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. There. All done. Can you move? Why, oh, yes, indeed I can. That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's sew Mrs. Fox next. Yes. Do not sew their chests together. Nah. We could just stitch their hands together, though. Sew them up. Make them hold hands for eternity. I wonder if she'll wake up now. Very good question. Mr. Rabbit? Oh, Mrs. Fox, I'm so happy you're alright. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome. I'm glad you two can dance again. Here, you can have this. I've kept it since the day the others ripped our bodies apart. Oh, special key. It's got a pumpkin face. That is the key to the theater. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thank you so much, Mr. Rabbit! Now, Mrs. Fox, would you give me this dance? Yes! I'm so happy I was able to help them! Look at them go! Thank you for helping us, miss. We owe you our happiness. Alright. Let's see, how many files do we get? 20? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. See, I commissioned someone to draw an under rail portrait for me. Ooh. You mean Undertale? Also, do you mean that version of Undertale, or do you mean, like, tale as in story tale? Oh, Underrail. Oh! I've never heard of that. And, uh, I don't know. We'll find a use for it, probably. Inspect a very special golden key. It's 
It's a pager from a book. Dark Spain Spains, yes. There are dark stains splattered on these. Uh isometric RPG I'm speedrunning. Ooh, cool. The Anatomy of Melancholy by Robert Burton. It's filled with children's books. The handwriting is so messy. You're leaving me stuck here with her again. With them, I should say. I hope he knocks on my window again tonight. Even if just to kill some time and ease my mood. Is this just what we were saying thing? Yeah. All the lines are crossed. Oh! Take a seat, the show's about to start! Be patient. Quick, quick, take a seat! I'm learning lore! So many letters. I wonder who they're from. The index of a book. A witch's guide to medicinal herbs. Hmm. So many coloring books. Afternoon tea rhymes for children. There's a very old book here. BRB. Okay, take your time. The boy and the pumpkin. All the pages have been ripped out, but there's something on the inside cover. Is talking to pumpkins really that strange? I would have thought talking to myself at night would have been, or would be more aggravating, but to each their own. Uh, we'll pick the blue cushion. Hmm. I will say, this is a bit more menacing than his original art. So this is a, a most definite improvement. But also, look at him! His coat's so oversized, it's huge! He can't fit that thing. Welcome to the most incredible of shows. The most amazing and most impressive prose. Of a little girl whose days are counted, with none of her wishes ever being granted. Aren't I an impressive poet? Who are you? Don't trouble yourself with petty questions, miss. But... Do enjoy your stay and please. Keep your memories close to your heart. Uh... Okay. Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She loved taking naps outside in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. In fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. But that's not all. Eglihit, her best of friends, never left her side. Just like sisters from the same mother, <laughs> I'm hilarious. A noisy little brat and her stuffed doll. What better combination could there be? Together they were a riot. Known all over the kingdom as the Supreme Rulers, or two just little kids. I don't know, just little monsters. They told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed very serious matters, which was the funniest pumpkin in the kingdom as an example. They also had many special cake parties. 
braids the size of peas. Eglant was indeed Fleda's best friend and her most important companion. She was also a stuffed toy with a girl's childish ways. One day, however, it started to rain outside, preventing Fleda from going outside. What a shame. Inside Fleda's house was a secret passage. Or so secret. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl she is, Fleda decided to wander in anyways. It's not as if a little rain could keep them from having fun. Inside the very secret room was a very secret letter. What could be written in this most amazing letter, Fleda wondered. But what's this? It was filled with lies! Who could have written all these dirty little lies? What are these lies doing in that room? Who could have written it? There's no simple way Fleda would believe such ugly lies. There's no way it was Fleda's fault. Who could have been Fleda, right? Right? That's right. There's no way Fleda could have been involved in such despicable affairs. Fleda was nothing but a pure little girl. There's no way it could have been Fleda's fault. Simply because there's a very clear culprit. It's all that mean girl's fault. It's all that mean girl's fault. Okay. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh my, things may have gotten interesting. Kapoof. Welcome back, Mir. What's going on? I, I will say, like, I don't remember if in the original game that if we had, like, the choice or if it went by as fast, but if you're gonna have, like, two lines of dialogue going, it may help to slow it down a bit so that it can actually be read. Cause that by that went by faster than I could even read it, and I don't mean just like out loud, but in general. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, what happened? Isn't it obvious, dearie? We took care of them. You you don't mean that you've done this yourselves, do you? Why, yes, we have. Wasn't our work done quite beautifully? But why? I thought all you wanted to do was dance again. Oh, sweetie, you have much to learn yet. And apparently, hatred is still one of those things. How could you do something like this? How could we? You are well aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? This still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify? Revenge, my dear, is a best... Bleh. Revenge, my dear, is a dish best served cold. Do you understand? Now, move along. We are very grateful for your good deeds towards us, after all. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. This can't be. It can. Oh, wow, even the pumpkins are silent. locked oh no I'm allergic to cats pumpkin charm pumpkins are normally chatty yeah but they did just see the brutal slaughter of like eight plush animals Feline Glory, 1846. Sir Meowpolian, the Conqueror of Persia. Such a silly painting. Oh, fuck yeah, more pumpkin charms. Cat is Faction, 1713. A sleepy looking cat residing under a broad blue sky. Cat Eye, 1697. A painting of a black cat's amber eye.
What might be troubling you, little girl? I... I don't know, mister. What might you not know, little girl? I don't know why they would do something like that. Say, so see, listen, miss, our existences, no matter how faint they might be, they do serve a purpose and will, in one way or another, affect your own. I see. You can have this, I think, and may cheer you up a little. Ah, kick ass, a candy cane! Unfortunately, I can't accompany you on your journey, but I'm sure this will be able to reassure you in times of distress. Thank you, mister. You're very kind. The queen is awaiting you. Oh. Let's see. Perfection. Kitten siblings posing on a fancy red chair. Laurel Meow. A group of cats surrounded by sunflowers. Technically, it's ceremony is about to start. How exciting! You're so lucky, miss. I wish I were an honored guest myself. An honored guest? Whoa. Finally, now hurry on. The queen is waiting you. Uh oh. Just kidding. Be yeah, sure you are. <laughs> Impressive. I knew you would be able to reach me. What do you mean? Silence! Oh. I have but a couple of matters to address with you, my girl. Firstly, I am here by announcing your demise, but you will not be advancing further than this very room. Please wait, you can't just silence! Great. Secondly, my dear, since you will soon be disappearing for good, I shall pay you my respects. I've had enough with your mediocre attitude, my girl. I shall not tolerate it any further. As much as it... As much as it is but a foolish gamble, I have made my own move. Now it is time for you to make yours. Please wait, I need you to explain what's going on. Gods? No, please wait. In your hands, my girl. Your turn to claim what's yours. Oh. Welcome back. Yeah, we got the old Shankaroo. Thankfully, we can very quickly skip around the dialogue. Ah, oh, fuck.
You know, I thought it would be faster to just load in, but I guess not. Because it literally took the same amount of time. But what sucks is you can't skip the game over. Alright, if we're gonna follow the Alice in Wonderland logic, we probably have to eat the cake. That's my guess. Because we already had to drink something. And we've got two cakes saying, Don't eat me! And one going, Eat me! There we go. What was that? Pumpkin. Shh, you shouldn't disturb the dead. The dead? You haven't heard the three knocks have you. I should have it. I hope I don't. Gasp. I mean, on one hand, it's pretty horrific seeing the plush like this, but she did try to get us killed, so you know what? I ain't sad about it. Queen Agliette. Remember, remember just how tender were the queen's sweet little eyes of a traitor in disguise. What does this mean? I didn't see anything. Don't ask me. It wasn't me. <laughs> so peaceful and pure, just like sleep and beauty. Are y'all winning, kid? I mean... We got brutal plushy murders. It's over here. Blue, blue, I'd go blue. I would definitely go blue. Go blue, win blue. Go red, red is the way to go. Uh, I mean... Mary Mary, quite contrary. How did you gotten grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Um... Let's see, a strong light overflows in between the iron bars, carrying a soft, cool breeze into the room. It's open, too, so we can just walk out. Okay, okay, you're jingling. It's coming from this big chest. Oh, I guess we can't open it yet. I guess we have to go the other way.
There's a note on the table. Hiding my darkened heart in a veil of innocence, I swore, weeping in the darkness, confiding with the moon. As the sun rises, I put on my golden crown once more, hoping to meet my beloved in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, I don't trust this to not kill me, to be quite honest. Let's see. This is not a guide. This is just saying what different endings there are. That's not a guide. This isn't a guide either. What the fuck? I mean, that's still useful, but it's not telling me what I need to know. That's annoying. No, I can't save right now, and I don't really feel like doing the whole thing with... I don't feel like doing the room over again. And I don't trust this game to not kill me for fucking up. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, no. Hmm. I guess maybe a... I can't fucking find anything. That's so annoying. Oh, so it just boots you out here. A stone are given when you will live, yet you cannot live without me. Uh, heart for love. Fly, flamingos, falcons, and even squirrels. What can all these animals do that silly little girls cannot? The... They can fly. A 
That's cute. What's this one look like? Okay, I guess I was overthinking it then. I'm just, I'm very used to RPG Maker games, like, giving you plenty of save points, and then occasionally there will be one point where they're like, haha, fuck you, you get to do, like, 30 minutes worth of shit again. Learn to speedrun it. Yeah, we already inspected it earlier, so here. It fits! Alright, so who's the funny bunny who locked me inside this chest? You're that girl. Who are you? Oh, I'm... I've never seen you around here before. How did you get here? I just... I see... Too bad I don't care. Do you see who locked me up inside this chest by any chance? Oh, no I didn't. The chest was already locked when I got here. Hmm, that's a shame. Oh well, that's alright. I'm a good detective, so I'll catch the culprit in no time. Uh, I see. So, what are you doing here, miss? That's... Uh, she did not invite us, so we're just gonna say we're here to play. Oh, I see. Must have been really hard to get here, I'm surprised. Bro, I had two Twitch things open by accident, I was like, why is it echoing? That would be why. <laughs> you know, I came all the way here looking for Egliette, and all of a sudden I was in that chest. It was really scary and dark, too. Uh, by the way, have you seen Ugly yet? I've been looking for her. Yes. She's in the hallway. Really? Let's go get her then. I'll introduce you. Wait, I... You... No, never mind. I like how she's holding a plush of Egliette, even though Egliette's in the hallway. Lilliputian princess. What's your name, miss? I'm Fleta. Oh, I'm sorry. I... I don't know my own name. What? Really? Yes. That's a shame. Now, let's go. I have to go find Egliette. Let's... Oh, and instead she's the one that's in the lead. Is that... Exactly it? Yep, she's strung up. Like a turkey. Pigliet. Pigliet, what have they done to you? We need to save her. All right, but how? I've got an idea. Hold me up. Fleta, that hurts. Shut up, just hurry. Almost there. Ooh. Oh, I 
exactly it. Is... Is she alright? Uh... I'm glad. But she's ripped apart. Uh, don't worry, Fleta. I know how to sew. You do? Yes, will you let me try? Alright, but be careful. Of course. There, she's all ready. Oh, ugly head, I'm so glad you're all right. Everything will be fine now. I'm here with you. Then she just doesn't say anything now. I can't tell, like... Did she always have that stitching on her crown? I know she always had it on her ears. Is that... You didn't see who it was. That's fine. All that matters is that you're safe now. Thank you so much for saving Agliette. Oh no, it was nothing. No, no, I insist. Agliette and I want to invite you to come play with us at my dollhouse. Would you like to come? Really, can I? Of course. Come on, let's go. To freedom! Let's step back a little. I'm gonna do a magic trick. A magic trick? Do you know how to do magic? Uh-huh. Now watch. Pat, pat, pat. I have received head pets! Thank you, Mir. Oh good, we can save finally. A garden? Yes, this is my absolute favorite place to stay. Or to play. Oh, I see. We need to go through it to reach my dollhouse. Let's go. I'll lead the way. We'll overwrite the yarn hall. A fork? Both Egliette and I love sweets. Isn't it a little too big? It's just for decoration, dummy. Let's go. I have cuter things to show you. Oh. What was that? I don't know. Let's hurry. This is all wrong. What is it, Fleta? My garden, this... <laughs> this isn't how it looked before. There used to be a straight path ahead, but now it's gone. It's fine, Fleta. I'm sure everything will be alright. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. I am okay, then. Let's go. I want to go home soon. You two little girls want to hear a joke. Listen here, you, you dumb tree. Or whatever you are. I don't have time for your stupid jokes. Show me the way home this instant or else. Such a loud missy you are. Didn't your mommy teach you any manners? What did you say? Who do you think you're talking to? Shoo shoo. Go away, you're pestering me. Come back after you learn some respect. Listen here, you bitch. I will go get the chainsaw. Calm down, Fleta. Well, let me try talking to him, alright? Hmm. Fine, go ahead and try it. It's not like he's gonna tell you anything anyways. Hello there, mister. You see, we're somewhat lost right now, and we were wondering if you could show us the way. Why, of course. It would be my pleasure, miss. What?! Thank you so much, mister. Ahem. Now, there's a trick to getting out of mazes. Have you ever heard about it? I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Can you believe this, Agliette? 
I think she definitely did wrong. Yeah, Flynn is a bit of a bitch. Uh, I know about that one trick where you tie a thread to something at the start of the maze and hold it as you're walking so you won't get lost. You're right, miss. However, there's one that's even more effective. Really? Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. I know how to talk to trees. It's impressive that you know all the mess to get out of a maze. Too bad you're a tree. Yes, do you want to hear it? Just say it already, you ugly tree trunk. I want to go home. Flatter, seriously, shut the fuck up. If you keep being a raging bitch, you'll never tell us how to get out of here. Carrying on. It's truly an easy method, miss. All you need to do is place your right hand on the right wall of the maze and follow it all the way to the end. You will never get lost. I can guarantee you that. That's amazing. I never knew about that trick. Thank you so much for your help. Ugh. Thank you so much for your help. How do you even know he's not lying? He's a tree! There's no way he can know how to walk out of a maze. He's never even walked. You are very welcome, miss. Now be careful and take care. Especially with that noisy girl you have there with you. Why'd you just call me old piece of wood? Missy, you're lucky I can't actually get up. Otherwise, I would shove my non-existent foot up your ass for being such a little bitch. Maze tip, always turn right. It works in most mazes, this is true. <laughs> Thank you, mister. Well then, let's go. Please don't be mean to Mr. Tree. He even helped us with getting out of this maze. Hmm, fine. Then you lead the way, Miss Goody Two-Shoes. We'll see if you can get us out of this stupid maze. Alright. And just because that was a lot of dialogue... When I grew up, I want to be one of the scary pumpkins. One's that spooky, shining eyes. I see. I hope he can become one in the future. He'll probably end up becoming one of Elliot's pumpkin pies. Dude, Flutta, what the fuck? Flutta, you shouldn't have said that. And who are you to tell me what to say? Let's go. I don't have time to waste on pumpkins. I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. I want to see what that is. Why are we even here? Was this not here before? No. I'll never get home like this. Fleta? Don't worry, Fleta. It'll be alright. We'll definitely get out of here, okay? How can you be so sure? We're lost in this maze, you know? I'm not sure, but we need to stay positive, right? And I'm really looking forward to playing games with you. So let's try getting home as soon as possible, alright? Alright. You wanna take a rest? We could sit on that bench over there. Uh-huh. Let up. Do you really live here all by yourself? No, I live together with Egliette. Aren't you lonely sometimes? Not at all. Egliette is always there for me no matter what. I see. I'm glad. Why did you ask that? Do you want to be my friend too? <laughs> Me? No, I mean, I didn't ask because I wanted to be your friend. I don't want to impose. <laughs> you dummy. You're already mine and Egliette's friend. Right, Egliette? 
Well, I mean, she did repair me even after I tried to kill her twice and thrice, so I suppose she's all right. See? Thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Egliette as well. Uh, thank you, Egliette. Sure thing, dear. Well, let's go. We can't stay here all day. Yes. Mr. Pumpkin, can we ask a question? Well, yes, you must certainly can. Do questions know what happened to the garden? I mean, you know how terrifying the whole ordeal was. I've never gone through such an unsettling event in all my five months of existence. What happened? You see, I was just dressed in years old, and suddenly everything went dark. The garden was already like this when I got to my senses. So you don't really know how I got like this? I don't really know. But <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no candy inside of me. Why are you doubting me? Pumpkin, listen to me. Every pumpkin needs candy to survive. I have candy inside me, and every pumpkin I know has candy inside of them as well. Meaning you have to have candy inside you too. No, I don't. What's all this about pumpkins? Your Highness, you come at just the right time. My friend here doesn't believe me when I say every pumpkin has candy inside them. No, I don't. I don't have any candy inside me whatsoever. I haven't heard about anything about candy inside pumpkins before. Ha! I knew it! No, I swear I'm not lying! Oh, shit. Please calm down, you two. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out who is right. We need to open you up and see for ourselves. Open me up! Wait, Fleta, wouldn't that hurt him? What does it matter? It's for a much bigger purpose. Wait, please don't open me up! Then what? Isn't there another way to check? Oh, he could try to reach for a cane through his mouth! Oh! Alright, let's try that! You do it! Why, why me? Because I said so, and I don't want pumpkin guts on my hand. Alright. Now say, ah! Ah! Squelch. So! What was inside? Oh, pumpkin charms. What the heck is that? Well, you're a liar. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're a big fat liar. Don't make fun of my weight. Let's just step away from them. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mr. Tree. I heard the Pumpkin King has come to visit. Aren't you excited? Pumpkin King? Oh, they hate the Pumpkin King. Why? Mr. Tree looks very excited about him. Pumpkin King thinks he's all glorious and mighty. I hate stuck-up pumpkins like him. Right, Egliet? Don't you hate him, too? The first time the Pumpkin King appeared in the kingdom, he challenged Princess Flitter to a chess game in exchange for a quiet place where he could raise his little pumpkins. Princess Flitter lost to him, so he won his rightful place in this garden. Hmm, just because he was a big cheater. Uh, I see. Let's go. I don't want anywhere near that stupid scarecrow. What happened? We're in a different place now. Uh... Interesting. Oh! Happy birthday! 
close to it, Mr. Pumpkin? Oh, it's very close to the edge. I believe it's time to make a pledge. Oh, hi, Princess Fleta. Ruler of all, swear to be friends with you for all eternity. Gotta miss a chicken. Either give Princess Fleta your wood or expect to burn. Um, oh, I, I swear to be friends with Fleta for all eternity. The pledge has been made, a precious promise that shall never fade. Oh, that startled me. With this, we can be friends forever. Yes. But if you ever betray me, you know what will happen, doesn't she, Egliette? Off with her head. Well then, let's go. Okay. But there's so much in the garden I want to explore. Are you kidding me? You're showing me so much cool, interesting shit. I refuse. But I want to go that way. What a... Okay, so now I guess we can just wander around on our own if we want to. Oh, this is why she want to go here. Pumpkin King! Well, the Pumpkin King has taken us in. I feel so much more reassured now. A small scarecrow stands near the fence. Its tiny body is dressed up in a little gardener outfit. Aww. Pumpkin charm. Pumpkin charm. Be careful. Don't stomp on our babies. I'm so sorry. I will be careful. Small scarecrow stands near the fence. I need to because I don't like all the pink in that kingdom. Let's see. Standing in the center of the garden and surrounded by countless pumpkins is the Pumpkin King. His body burning up in furious flames. Huh. Oh, fuck. I want to see that cake. There was a giant cake. I demand to see it. It had plushies. It looked cool. I'm gonna see it. I just gotta figure out where the fuck it is. Oh. You stupid tree. Take this and this. You despicable liar. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Calm down. Why are you hitting him? He lied to us. He lied. No, he didn't, Fleta. Calm down, all right? Then why did we get lost? It was my fault. Hmm, then why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. Fine, just don't get lost again. Be safe, child. Saving because that's a lot of dialogue. The cake! We have found it! 
Another one of those statues. Isn't it cute? It's my favorite cake, too. What is it? Can't you see? It's obviously whipped cream cake with strawberry glaze. Ooh, that does sound like it would be good. But it also sounds like it would be nothing but whipped cream. Uh, I see. What else did you think it was? Honestly, cheesecake. I just don't know much about sweets. You're not very bright, are you? Fuck you. We make mistakes, we do. Let's see, a huge slice of cake crust surrounded by- Oh, oh, hello! Hi, little friend, welcome in! Ooh, was Rusty's retirement okay? I've not heard of that. Did you have fun playing it? Thank you for the raid! Welcome in, everybody! We were told to be gremlins, yes! Gremlins attack! We are being attacked by gremlins. And now I believe we go this way to get the fuck out of this place. Now that I have seen everything we need to see. Hey Sanity, welcome in! Good to see you. Oh. This is less of a dollhouse and more of a gingerbread house. Why is it winking at us? This is it! We made it! I'm so glad! Let's go inside! I have so much I want to show you! Yes, let's! Your Highness, I'm glad you're finally back! Did something happen, Pumpkin? Leave my bread house alone, Root Seagull! Then they make it stop winking at me, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It's kind of weird. Just happy to see you. Oh, Pumpkin, you're making me blush. May I ask who is next to you? Oh, Harry, she's just a friend. Hello, friend. You're also quite a beautiful girl. Oh, thank you, Pumpkin. That's why I love my bread house. <laughs> Enough small talk. Let's go. Oh, all right. Goodbye, Pumpkin. It was nice meeting you. Come visit us again, miss! Dollhouse taken care of, as expected. Princess, Princess, who is this girl next to you? She's my friend. Can I be friends with her too? I've never had any friends. There's no one I want to share my new friend with the likes of you. Know your place, Pumpkin. But, Princess... But, uh, it's just a pumpkin. No means no. You're my special friend and no one else's. You're mine. Oh. Oh, no. I'm sick and tired of everyone having mistaken me for a pumpkin. But you're a pumpkin. No, I might look like a pumpkin, but I actually identify with the Queensland Blue community. Uh, right. Good for you, then. Bruh. Tell me now, Princess Fleda, how would you like to sing? Dong, ding, ding, dong. Tell me now, my friend, if you'd like to hear a song. Ding, dong, dong, ding. Tell me now, then, what's the rule of spring? Dong, ding, ding, dong. Oh, please, miss, don't you dare get it wrong. Dong, ding, ding, dong. Don't you worry, my friend. I would never forget our very theme song. Ding, dong, dong, ding. My most precious rule is not all pretty girls need a king. Welcome home, Princess Fleda. Please do come inside. Thank you, door. We're finally here! Welcome to my dollhouse, miss! This is really your home. Everything's so pretty. Isn't it? 
I had a very special pumpkin come in and do all the decorations in the house. Damn, that's a talented as fuck pumpkin. I see. Let me show you around. All right. The dollhouse. I think it's safe to save over the Rose Labyrinth, because, like, I think, like, well, you're not supposed to be able to get all the pumpkin charms on the first playthrough anyway from what I saw, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And as far as I recall, there was no real uh, route-altering decisions to be made here, so we'll override it. Fleta is a pain. She really is. Something else that's a pain is my throat. It is not happy right now. But this place is so cute. Who found this morning? The coin from Tooth Fairy? Aww. Gladly. Don't worry, Mr. Pumpkin, I'll do it for you. You will, really? Yes. Oh, look at me. I'm so polite and kind. Oh, no, bird. You gotta rest that throat, yeah. It's still inside my mouth. Just reach for it. Alright, then. Say, ah. Ah. Oh, look at me. I'm so much better than Fleta. I got it. Let me just put it under your leaves. It's all done. Well, thank you, thank you, miss. I'm gonna get a big old quarter from this. You're welcome, pumpkin. I hope you can meet the tooth fairy tonight. Me too, thank you so much, miss. Are you two done yet? Um, yes. Don't waste my time, I wanna go play. I'm sorry, Fleta. And I didn't read, like, half that dialogue because of the throat. Eh. I'll override again.